Hello and greetings, my fellow Long Darkens. Welcome back to the Zone of Contamination map tour. Uh, last time we did explore the uh, level three of the mine. And there are a couple sections that are in the, going to be in the Signal Void Challenge. Which unfortunately this run was just for the map tour. I put in a custom pilgrim. Just so we can explore everything. Nice weather. No worries. But do check out our interloper series. We're dealing with that story right now. And also, I'm going to have a Signal Void Part 2 playthrough coming up fairly shortly once we wrap up the map tour video. Now, we checked out a bunch of this last time, but I think we do want to head to the surface a little bit. There is still a lot to explore on the outside as well. But you can take quite some time. Yeah, we're at the bottom of here. There are three entrances up here. Make sure we get to... Let's stop at level 2 real quick. Alright. I do believe we covered this one already as well. And I did loot the stuff next to us when we started the video. And I did get a couple more canisters. I believe we've already covered this one. I just want to make sure. Oh, I didn't search it, so I don't know for 100% for sure. Well, I do know this area pretty well, so... Set down relatively quickly. But this branches off into two on the left here, and both do not go through. But there's usually a couple little items. There's no gas down here on these sides, so you don't have to worry. More jerry. I can't really carry any. Honestly, I have so much. It's a crazy amount of... Well, I mean, we have quite a bit. I thought I was going to drop a piece of coal just to mark this as well. I really want to have to, though, because... At least here, because both these... Like I said, they go down to the end. If I didn't want to loot that, I want to make sure we do cover this. I've just spent an entire week pretty much down here, though, so... I've got a hatchet as well. Hope nobody needs this. Green flares. I've not seen any revolver. Ooh, a whole bunch of canisters. I won't say no. And also note, yeah, because we have enough uh, free space and radio, uh, radio menu with health items, it that does show up. But someone did tell me that if you just put the mask on real quick and take it off, it counts. No, it does not. I tried that. Yeah, once your timer gets low enough, pop that on. Don't take it off, because until you're out of the area. But after you're out of the area, we'll also stop as well. Alright, so we've been both of those areas now. And I'm going to probably mark that with a piece of coal. I think that's not a terrible idea. So it's tough to tell if you didn't already... Well, we should put it probably somewhere where we know coal may not spawn. Yeah, there we go. Right flare over there, but we've got plenty of lantern fuel. I, even on Interloper, they really did put quite a bit... ...of stuff to keep your light sources going. We didn't show it. Did we show it? Nah, well, I didn't loot it, so I'm gonna say so. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, sometimes I've been in this area so many times now, it's not to keep anything straight. Alright, so this one doesn't need a key. Empty stem. I wouldn't say no. Get the calories up, my friend. I'll just do a little searching. I don't really need anything, but. Hard to break an old habit, you know? I wonder if the owner's around. Probably not, Will. A lot of can openers in this building as well. Okay. And there's nice, there is a workbench over here. And a fire barrel as well, because... You're kind of going to be down here a while. I just had on our uh, interloper That'll one. In I just got a cabin fever chance, because we were down here for so long. 
I didn't really think we were, but I guess we were. Yeah, it's... Go around. There's a couple of things. And this lights up at night. It's really kind of cool. If you have an aurora or a glimmer fog. Around. And initially you'll think, hey, that's about the end of it. But there's more to this, actually. Let's just make sure we circle around the sides and check everything in. Take it all in. Beautiful music stinger there. Okay, so let's head down. Discovered this because curiosity got the better of me. Because I could see you could drop down here and I'm like, well, they wouldn't let you drop down there if there wasn't a way back up. Generally, unfortunately, I think I seem to have gotten stuck. Well, that's an opportune. I feel like you can get out of this, Will. How do you do this, Will? I know what I said, but I find the one bug in the game. Oh, man. Sometimes you can get out of this. On will. And move. If only there was a jump button. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I'm going to be right back then because I'm going to have to retrace my steps. Because I, I am stuck so hard. So watch out this first step. Um, I hope that was helpful to you. And we will be uh, right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I am back, but I actually popped out back before because I forgot to go in here. Because there's a little side cache area over here. But even on Interloper, there was quite a bit of supplies. And of course, on this Pilgrim, there is a ton. Something's got to go. I really don't need anything more. Might give us some coffee to keep us awake. That's probably about it. And take some coffee. Yeah, so there's a subtle side one. Apologies, I... I've been in here through here so much, it's all starting to blur together. Let's go back down to that way. On level two, there's not as much... There's really not any gas on this side. this again this will come in handy don't usually run into too many bugs in long dark but yeah you can't get stuck on stuff on occasion and about the worst is when you get stuck somewhere then snap your ankle so the game saves so you get stuck right there it's uh quite horrible what have we here all right leave that i might have there's some minor pants there as well You know what? Pants. Well, those aren't in the best condition. I'll still take it. All right, so we will go down again and try. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I think you can, Will. Any firewood over here? I said, this is a really beautiful one. It kind of lights up at night. Now we're going to go. And we're going to try to maybe avoid that side of it. Because this is very intended, I think, to for you to go down here. But I just think they didn't account for me doing something like that. It looked pretty good. All right, let's go down again. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. I'm just gonna go this way, actually. And we're gonna drop down. And here we go. Then you will probably recognize this area. The thing is, you can't go back up 
from there to there, of course. But all right. Back that way out. I think I'm really just looting this. things to uh, make sure we don't double back. Mine off this key. Did we not get the body out of that then? Because usually we check, there is usually a rifle in there on stalker or less difficulty. Well, if I haven't done that, let's go. You say that way out, so I want to go this way. Let's drop another piece of coal. You know what? Drop a piece of cedar wood. Let us know we've gone this route. So keep an eye out for lanterns on the side because you can set those up and they will always keep going On some of these lower levels Now we've got a couple different ways going There's gas this way. Let's set up another this intersection. Drop another firewood. And pop on the mask real quick. We did. We just found some canisters, so we should be good. I think this is. I don't want to get my own horn over what we're looking at here, in case. Land fuel could be oh. useful. That could be useful. Going down. Actually, if you're looking for the mine office key, we are going to the right here. Let's go down this way. I might have to drop some gear. Yeah, I just saw this and I automatically thought we should go down here. I they like to hide stuff occasionally, so I like to and to see where I can go. <sighs> oh, and stabbed up at that part, but yeah. Not a good idea. I think there is like a gas for like two seconds around here, but once you walk past it, it's fine. I could use this. Canister, alright. And this corpse, it seems it always has the mine office key. Okay. Probably want to do is head back. Yeah, there's a little bit of suffocation risk, but then it's gone, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of weird almost. We're going to keep going this way for a bit, though, since we're already ready to go. That's not a good sign either way. Hope nobody needs this anymore. The canister did not do her any good though. Let's stick with the lantern. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can. But this is one of the ones, yeah, you cannot uh unless I was a fair bit lighter not looting. Like we're gonna be able to make it through. Twenty-eight seconds. I 
I mean, second. You really don't want to push it, but... I think we're actually almost there. Uh, it would be fine if you... <laughs> okay, we actually made it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we, we did. Because I think I'm an looper when I can't because I'm just carrying uh, heavier gear that restricts the sprint. Oof. That was a little close, though. That was a little close, Will. And we have another fire barrel as well. And some chemical boots. Could end up being useful. You have some, right? Not that we... Currently, right now, we haven't needed them. It's a side here. We usually have some stuff as well. This stuff will come in handy. Oh, well, we do have... Ah, I dropped that. Nothing but the best for you, Will. much else and this is an interesting one too though I have not this also relates to story to look for anything we do on signal void we cannot get through to that uh, that is a signal void area right there and sadly you cannot drink that Yeah, they also know uh, Simpsons fish you could get with three eyes. So, last time I came up here, I kind of got stuck actually, a little bit. Will could not walk. Oh no, actually that time he's fine. All right. Maybe it was here. It was really. Yeah, it's stuck a little bit up there. It's not terrible. Going back around. I definitely kind of recommend high sprint, probably low carry weight if you can, but it's kind of tough around here. There's a lot of loot. We're going right around this way. Five seconds. I do believe it's just, it's straight death. Kind of like in Subnautica if you don't go up for air. There's no leeway. Alright, well, uh, starting to worry me a little bit. Probably should. There you go, just in case. We have, like, just stop and get that. There we go. But I think we're already out, so yeah, we didn't need much more. So that was pretty close. Alright, we're already back to this area, which we have been in. You can take that off, it's creepy, Will. Alright, so we're back at level 3 again. That's form is key, like I said, signal void related. Jump these old canisters. I don't want to have them throw them in a box and disappear just in case there's any bill to do that. I guess there is a mod that, uh, they've already came out with, the modders already came out with a mod that lets you craft those. Or a little over. The boots! Ah, I'm the boots here. We don't really need them. For such time as they make it, you actually need to use those. A lot of canisters. Have some ham, Will. Can. Just probably find more of that anyway. That is so much lantern fuel. But you never know. You never know. I drop that too. I get it slightly under. We'll drop a little bit of it. It's fine. Okay. Let's go back up to two so we can check out uh, that mining office key. Back up. Uh, 
I can tell. So yeah, you want to go during the day and try to keep an eye out, because... All right. Go back in. And then we'll go back up. We're gonna explode that one, so we just go this way. It's just, it's just nice to leave little things for you, so you... You can even lose flares, really, because there's quite a few flares. I think we'll retrace our steps and go back out. Went back down there. No, never mind. I think, uh... I forgot where we were going. Got a little excited. Okay, well, I think we need to go up one more. Uh, we'll double check. Tired. Oh, you're getting. Oh, you're getting. Didn't really realize you were that out of breath. Okay. A level one, I mean. I might catch a nap, really. Catch a slight nap. Oh, the days are starting too, so that would be a good time to go. I can lift markers here. Gas there and the gas here. I think we've kind of covered this though. I won't worry too much about the mining office key since we did show it to you. I'm gonna get a slight nap and then we'll go outside. But I think the best way to explain mine is just practice repetition. Just be with a hint of carefulness just for the gas. I'm gonna have to take a slight nap though because that's just a little too much for four wheels there. And you... Over here would be a good spot. Time will go much slower since it's four times the day. So, yeah, a couple hours really isn't going to hurt. I've been out here for about two days. Covered quite a bit so far. Back on floor one again. And you've got enough carry weight to go. I do believe we covered, but there's you can go all the way to the top there as well. I think I might do because I kept on going all the way up. There's one more level below us where we get out to where we started. Let's cover this just in case I didn't already. Work pants. Yeah, we did cover this. I just want to make sure. Alright, well, let's head down. Down one more level here. I think you have just enough 
That's enough to get going there. I think it is WAP 1, though. I will. I know, we'll just get up there when I'm too encumbered. I need another nap. Take too much out of them. Cute. All right. Get another little bit of a nap. And I left a lantern on, unfortunately. Rule number one, don't ever do that. But it's not too bad. Yeah, we wasted a little bit. Ah, that's a shame. Unfortunately, when you do sleep, you, can ne you can't exit out of that, so you are committed. Let's set up. It's right to our left, which is a little tough to see right there. There we go. Okay. Well, we're off to say goodbye for a little bit. But if I did forget anything in the mine that isn't kind of Sentinel Void related, do let me know. We'll make sure we we'll cover that. I can throw my videos in check as well. We have, we have spent a lot of time down there. Ooh, we're back out. Oh, civilization. We're actually going to go this way for a bit. We run across... It's really only the toxic stuff is only really in this area. We're going towards it. The vast majority out here is pretty much untouched uh, by the poison. That's why I was hoping to catch the map. And I don't mind the glimmer fog. It's just that when you're trying to show it off in a video, it's like, oh. Not as glamorous. But to be a little careful there, there are a ton of uh, toxic wolves out here. Let's go to the right a little bit. And we will gravitate back towards this area. But first, I do want to head down this way. You can also go all the way through that, uh, ride most of that pipe. At least to get to the section where you have to get up. And the wolves can kind of get on there, but they can't follow you very far. Yeah, we've got a wolf on our left. There's a good majority of greasy mushrooms. Uh, rose hips and yeah, cat tail quite a bit. So, do remember because I got a couple questions. Uh, yeah, you do have to only deal with C from the Telfar territory to get out here. We have kind of checked this out. I think we weren't wasn't the best weather though, so I'd like to show this off a little bit more. And just in case we miss something as well. It's always hitting little nooks and crannies everywhere. I do believe this is the water intake for the mine. And the water out goes to the other side, kind of where the mine pit is. And go up that away. I think we might do. There's that helicopter. Oh yeah, we've already covered that one. No, all right. Kind of want to push it though. All right. Oh yeah, we are glossing over a couple things at times. I just want to make sure we get repetition is always good. We're getting something down. I've got a good grasp of the map, but once it's hundred percent. Burn down buildings here. 
And it's burnt down in uh, Pilgrim, it's burnt down in all modes. This is the old corral. Yep, yep, okay, so. I was a little tired. Ah, let's pop. I think we've been around that area. Make sure we pop on the other side here. Okay, up that way. Up that side. I, I know Will. Uh. Well, that does end. There's a lot of area out here. It's really nice uh, for hunting. But I do feel at the end of the day, let me know. Like, I feel like the mine is loot, scoot, get your story done, single void. I probably wouldn't be back. I mean, it is viable. You can make a base out of anywhere, really. But I kind of just enjoy this more visually speaking. Entrance to the passageway through that is over there, or was it back? Let's double check. Beautiful music stingers. side which I do believe we already covered yeah well more importantly can you get up on this side or do we have to go all the way yeah because Will cannot I mean it's always worth a try but I'm pretty sure he can't shimmy up that he's not very good at shimmy up places but nah not gonna can't get over there either have to go up on this side. Really, this is gonna get me hyped for their uh, final map of the DLC. That's gonna introduce cougars, and I think cougars are only gonna be in that area. You never know, though. I think it's gonna be a very specific. And the cougar is gonna stalk us, so kind of like Old Bear, really. The Hunted Challenge. side we'll cross on over there's a whole river of cattails all the way down out there that's really nice yeah, so if you're in a little run was getting a little low though do you have to be advised you can't get scurvy you're wanting to get scurvy. You can't get scurvy in an old run. Well, look at the amount of deer we have. Ooh, wow. That's really nice. We really haven't seen a lot of uh, deer wildlife. We're also going to check out this bear. I have not seen a moose yet, though. I have seen the bear. We'll follow that down for a lot of cattail. We have a dead bunny. Is that a ravaged bunny? Just... I think I can use this. The frozen dead bunny. All right. I don't think I will just let him sleep. But this is just lovely. Yeah, when the weather's decent out. I would really say really great place to, you know, kind of just hunker down and spread out. Reminds me of a uh, River Valley a little bit back here, but it's just kind of nicer. A little bit encumbered.
I want to double check to see if I can... I feel like you can, Will. I think we've had this discussion before, we'll see. This seems pretty sweet. Uh, like a steep up a triple way, probably not. Well, you could do this. No, that uh, that kind of that that didn't it? His ankle said no, no, no. Oh man! All right. I'm more impressed then. So we're looking also for that. Because I don't believe that's the helicopter we're looking for. Maybe that's the one by the for second airfield transition cable, which we kind of already covered. Here, though, I want to check out. I'll put a pin in this for right now. A ton of rabbits. Well, it's getting a little tired. Wanted to give this a gander. Oh, come on, Will. You got that. Gonna do lead up here. Gonna go to the right a little bit. Oh, I do remember this. I think I was entirely sure it was a path, though. I mean, kinda. Kinda is, but not really. There's a couple, like, dead ends and some other things on this map, which... I feel like it should lead somewhere, but then it doesn't. Oh, that was your wrist. You know what, luckily you don't need that. Luckily you don't need that at all, my friend. I don't want to get over to... Let's go to the other side then. Back over here. Luckily only your wrist is broken. We've been running wheel pretty hard today. Okay, I'm gonna kind of see if I can get up on this side. Uh, I thought I was seeing if I could cheese this, and well, maybe. Oof. Could you will? Uh, I was. If I could cheese this, would be impressive. Oh, I don't know. That's. Uh, I feel like if I could have gone with that at a higher angle. Ah, that was my ankle. Never mind. I cannot cheese that. Ah, uh, well. Oh, will. Okay, maybe you don't. We'll try going that from the right angle then. Oh, I had to try that for science. I mean, if I got that a little higher, I could have, but. My cops are going through so many bandages. Let's go proper there, I think. I 
just lovely out here. You wouldn't really expect it for the mine, even the concept map, a concept kind of art they did. Really didn't show off how nice this would be. I'm gonna move there from that side. I think I might. This this will go on for a ways. Let's head up then over on that side then. As you can see, there's a bunch of cattail. You got deer out here. We have rabbits. It's really, really nice. Where I think I want to spend my time. Sure. But now we do want to check out that cave, though. The cave, and then we'll go back that way. No, I think that is the... Well, I don't want to say for sure. I think that is a Forsaken Airfield cave, but... It's in a lot of caves the last couple days. Make sure. Get to go around this side. I think actually... Uh, I think so, because I think the bear is on this side, usually. Luckily, he'll run away on this run. Or oh, is this your home? All right, fair enough. Yeah, this is where you're coming from, so I'm gonna assume. Oh, you most definitely are then. Oh, let's go to your house. Now, Smoker Caves, yeah, we have been here before. It's weird though, because there's no bones. I would have figured this would have been his. Seems like he was here though. Maybe he was just patrolling, I guess. Head back. I'm gonna head over that way. Nope, oh, sorry, Mr. Bear. I know, I'm sorry, I'm very rude. Not happy about that. Yeah, running Will, poor Will, a little ragged. I'm gonna go to this side, Will, and then we'll get ready to settle down for a while. Let's go up on this side. No, as we're getting probably into I do believe this is the fourth video. Really kind of getting a good, getting, getting comfortable, you're feeling a better sense. The mind's still a little bit confusing, even to me, I've been down there a whole ton. Some of those caves start to look alike. Gotta keep going up though. There's some birch over here as well. I'm not gonna, I wanna get up more, Will, come on. All right. I think we can get up with that from over here. Yeah, because there's a little uh, nooks and cranny. Not obvious. I think I'm gonna get good. We can get a good picture here too. Wouldn't be bad for uh, cartography as well. Bring charcoal, but 
Definitely worth a picture, though. This map size is crazy. So definitely, I think, enough, more than enough content to keep you happy until the next update. There are two more updates slated for the DLC. I wouldn't imagine. Probably around March. I'd say February, March. I don't imagine the next one uh, very fast. Put up this way. Rose sip is quite abundant as well. Super so Rome was running low. Side two. Because there's little nooks and crannies there where it also gives you just good views. side keep on moving up and obviously there will be a transition area from this to the uh, new map the final map comes out probably the last update uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for that as well but as also the new map will be accessible from the transfer hub I like to think the transfer hub is kind of a loading screen <laughs> for the new maps up top here. Let's take another look over here. Got some awesome vistas. Look at that. That is... That is something. Got this. It's like I'm almost getting a track of the summit. But yeah, I've seen this plenty of times. The uh, we have a snow shelter up here. I didn't even use that between the video. We got quite a bit of stuff. This is nice. Are you still good? You're still good, too. Okay. Keep that in mind. Continue our trek up. Can we... No, that's... Um, we'll just keep pushing the nooks and crannies though because you never know I'm gonna get a view over there if we could ah, really Ooh, ah. I'm gonna try but probably not nah Nice little spot up here, but with the track other than gathering supplies, I'd, I'd almost say no. But it on that end as well. Have any charcoal per chance? Nope. What I might do is I might uh, dive here between videos. Get a fire going, get some charcoal, and then we'll start mapping it out up here a little high so we can get a kind of a better idea of the scale of this map as well. But alright, I'll leave off here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Be sure to check out the playlist for the entirety of the Zone of Contamination map tour. I will see you guys in the next Long Dark video.